Hello and welcome to The Chop Shop. My name is Dion Tucker. In this video, we're going to talk about breathing for brass players. More importantly, how much or how little air do we need to take in before we play? Now, I have a special guest that's going to help me demonstrate some of these concepts, so keep watching to find out who it is. There's a lot of videos out there discussing the topic of breathing for brass players, but I want to look at it from a little different perspective. I want to explore how much or how little air we have to take in before we play a given musical passage. Now, before I bring out my special guest, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get a heads up on whenever I put out a new video. So what kind of concepts should we be thinking about when it comes to taking in air? I always used to tell my students, take in as much air as you can with every breath, because it's one of the few things on this earth that's still free. My thought process changed pretty drastically once I started retraining my way of playing because I was dealing with focal dystonia. What I discovered was that I needed far less quantity of air to still get the same quality of sound that I was looking for. Now, a big part of that was my lips not being in the way. See, if the air has to blow your lips apart, yeah, you're gonna have to do a little extra work in order to get the sound you're looking for. But if you're able to let your lips sit there and come together as required for the given note, you'll find that you have a lot more air quantity and more than likely, you'll get a much more quality sound. So I think oftentimes we get taught to over breathe and we put a really big emphasis on the intake of air and we put less emphasis on the air leaving our body. Now, I don't know anybody who can play the horn by just breathing in. The air has to leave and that's where our sound comes from. So we want to make sure that that continues to be our focus not the intake, but the outgoing air. When it comes to taking in air before we play, we have to ask ourselves this important question. How much air is required for the musical phrase I'm about to play? We have a lot of available air in our bodies. There's about 20% of our air capacity that we can't even touch. So the question becomes, do I have enough available air to play the musical phrase that's in front of me. It still amazes me just how much available air we have in our bodies. Now, sometimes we can look to nature or animals to teach us some important lessons. Over the last several years, I've learned quite a few lessons from my dog, Jigga. Jigga was an amazing teacher, and little did I know his lessons would transfer over to music. Oftentimes when I would practice, he would join in and start howling or singing along. A concert A flat, that was his sweet spot. That was one of his favorite notes. One day I noticed though, just how good his air function was when he was singing. So I pulled out my camera and took some video footage of it. Let's check it out. So the main area I want you to focus on is his midsection. Notice how he uses the available air to create the sound. There's no preparatory breath, but the air is already there and ready through the relaxation of the abdominal section. After watching this video several times, I'm not gonna lie, I started to get a little jealous of Jigga's air efficiency. It made me pick up my horn and wonder how long could I hold a note with the available air that I had? And is it going to affect my sound negatively? Well, let me grab my horn and let's find out. Now that I got my horn, I wanna talk about three different ways we can go about taking in that initial breath before we play. Let's talk about the most common way first. That's to take in as much air as you can and regulate that air throughout the length of the note. 
So I'm going to pick a high B flat. And what I'm going to do is try and take in as much air as I can and regulate that air for as long as I can throughout the duration of the note. Now let's look at another way we can take in air before we have to play. I'm not going to take a big active breath. I'm going to let my abdominal section relax. Let the lungs fill up that way and send the air out without regulating it. I'm just going to let the air go freely. Let's see what kind of results we can get there. Lastly, I'll just use the available air that I have. I'm not going to take in a breath before I play. I'm just going to let the air go without regulating it. Let's see how long that note lasts. We should note that we have quite a bit of available air in our bodies. So we should make informed decisions as to how much air we should take in before we play. This concept of using the air that's available is gonna vary based on how loud you have to play and what style of music you're playing. If there's any one thing I want you to take away from this, it's that the music should dictate how much air you take in before you play. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you next time at the Chop Shop.